Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest build for the Canary channel in the Windows Insider program, which is the build 25926. The build was released yesterday. In this video, as always, we're going to talk about what is new, what has changed, and also what is fixed in this newest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Canary channel. So if you enjoy videos like these, where we talk about different Windows 11 Insider preview builds, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBased channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, this build includes new features from the dev channel such as the improvements for Windows Inc, the improved screencasting experience, and also the local file sharing improvements as stated by Microsoft in their official blog post. In this build, we also have some improvements regarding the taskbar and system tray, and you'll notice that now notifications will show as a bell in the system tray, and when new notifications come through, the bell will colorize based on your system accent color. When there are no notifications and the clock is visible, the bell will be empty. Notification counts are no longer shown. So we have this on the Canary channel as well. I think this is a great improvement for Microsoft. Starting with the build 25921, Microsoft added options for tuning intensity and color boost to the color filters via settings, accessibility, and color filters. Please note there is an issue in which the labels for the sliders are missing. The first slider is for intensity and the second slider is for the color boost. The labels will appear as expected in future builds, as you can see down here. Also in the settings app in Windows 11 the latest bill for the canary channel inside system we will have a new hidden feature which is called system components remove and manage system components on your pc and this was discovered by phantom machine 3 and also xeno panther on twitter so a huge shout out to them but until now from what i know this section is pretty much incomplete and it's of course a hidden feature that is currently being tested by microsoft and maybe i'm gonna make a different video in which i'll show you how to enable this new system components section inside the settings app from the latest bill from the canary channel microsoft is also releasing a snipping tool update with the version 11 to 306 430 to Windows Insiders in the Canary and Dev channels. This update introduces new buttons to edit and paint for screenshots and edit and clip champ for screen recordings. So let's test this out. I'm gonna make a new screenshot on the screen. For example, I'm gonna make a full screen screenshot. Let's open up the snipping tool editor. As you can see, we have here a new button that matches the Windows 11 experience, of course, with rounded corners. You can click on edit and paint to edit this fast. I think this is pretty nice because a lot of the times maybe you want to do a quick resize or a quick uh, I don't know crop which you can do very easily inside paint I think this is a great new addition and now let's try also if we open up the snipping tool app let's also try the recording function I'm gonna press new select the region start I'm gonna record quickly here and then stop the recording and as you can see we have for this the button edit and clip champ I think these are some great new options that you can have inside the new snipping tool app we also have one fix inside the canary channel and Microsoft fixed the issue causing devices with mobile broadband connectivity to not be able to connect to a wireless network due to an issue in which the APN configuration may get lost on upgrade with build 25921. So basically, this is all there is to it to the latest Canary channel build from the Windows Insider program. Of course, make sure to leave your opinion in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. For more info about this build, you can check out the article below in the video's description. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.